support farms and farmers in the community with grants and funding. Okay. We just have to work out that funding part. That's right. Well, they find funding. <coughs> we don't fund them. Great. Good job. It's, 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 okay. for, the, it's for the board to find funding, you know, grants and funding for farms and farmers. I think it's an excellent idea. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Um, I have put a resolution in everybody's uh, mailbox to establish a comprehensive <laughs> plan committee for the town of Stanford. This is not forming, this has nothing to do with who the members of the committee will be. We need, as we just did for the Farm and Agriculture Board, we need to establish a comprehensive plan committee. State law requires that if you have a group of people working on the comprehensive plan of a town, that group of people has to be approved of and voted in by the town board. Um, unfortunately, the last committee that was working on, on the plan um, of, with very dedicated people was, as we found out, talking to the lawyer at the Association of Towns the other day, never an authorized committee because it was never voted on by the town board. Uh, and in fact, what, I, what was said was that all of their deliberations are not appropriate. Now, of course, the things they talked about, the subjects they did, the decisions they made, um, all of the information they processed is very important to the town of Stanford so that we can move ahead and we don't go backwards and repeat anything. So I have no problem accepting all of the things, all of the work they did and all of their determinations. But in moving ahead, it is very important that if our planning process is going to go ahead and we're going to have a comprehensive plan um, for the town of Stanford with zoning regulations that are amended to support it, uh, and I'll just remind everybody that the reason we need this is it's the one protection a small town has against development, any kind of unwanted development, and it's a way of guiding the, the, the future of the town or the growth of the town. We have to, the town board has to establish a comprehensive plan committee. Um, so I, I wrote out the mission statement, which is very general in, in keeping with all other mission statements. Uh, I don't know if, I hope you've had a chance to read it. Um, and um, I'd like to make a motion that we pass a resolution to establish a comprehensive plan committee for the town of Stanford. I, I, Is there any second? I'll second that. Okay, now discussion. Okay, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to no, no, that's fine. Uh, I'd like to have a little bit more time to look over this proposal, plus I wanted to go into um, look into the um, work that was done previously mm -hmm. by the other committees and this way I can more familiarize myself with it and um, try to get a better knowledge right. of what's I, going I, on. I hear that. <coughs> this resolution has nothing to do with the material that any committee um, has dealt with. It's not saying we're accepting what they've done, we're not accepting what they've done, it's not building on it. It is simply a resolution to establish a comprehensive plan committee just as we established the farm and agriculture committee without talking about who would be on the committee. We have, by law, if our planning process is going to go forward, we have to, the town board has to establish a comprehensive plan committee. If we don't